Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra, if you haven't been here before. And today I'm filming uh, this video of my cute little compact that I just recently received. So this was actually um, a Miranda compact binder from Franklin Covey. I purchased it off of the Franklin Covey buy and sell on Marketplace Facebook. Um, it was super cheap and that's the only reason I got it. I do personally have three other compact binders so i've got the um blue mirage vintage aurora i have got the purple plumeria vintage or er, vintage aurora and then i also have the pale pink anna binder that was released that was like the, the latest one they are now sold out on the website i do have those three and i have been using a combination of them i take them with me to um when I go out for an evening or if I go somewhere, I take it to write down notes, but I wanted to have something more substantial. Um, I was kind of playing with the idea of being able to switch into a compact. Personally, I don't hold out high hopes for it because I have so much information um, that I keep track of on a daily basis that a compact simply just won't hold all of the information I need. So um, because I am a busy mom of three, I have my own business. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm into home management to the extent where most of my planner takes up everything to do with my house. Um, but I also have a big section for business as well. And yeah, it's just been, I know just doing my June setup alone, my binder will hardly close. It is so full of, of inserts and information and that's hardly doing any dashboards or decorative elements in there um so it's just been a struggle but uh for on the go so for instance if i have a doctor's appointment i want to have a carbon copy of my planner to you know to an extent I'll, I'll explain that in a minute um but something portable where i can be like hey i can look at my month and see when i can schedule my next doctor's appointments or whatever um so that being said this binder came with the quarter pack of plain franklin covey inserts so the ones that are kind of teal green um, and it was for april may june so all i have is the last month of june in here i've got the end of may and then the last month of june we'll quickly do a flip through i do have a few elements from my previous compact binder setups that i used to use so i've got some ceo dividers from cloth and paper in here i've got some dashboards from heather b co i have it set up kind of the way i want it so it's always been a struggle for me between personal wide inserts which are um, they still fit in a franklin covey compact um but Franklin Covey does not offer personal wide inserts. They only have personal size. So you'll see when we flip through that there's a difference in sizes. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really bother me to have different sizes in there. Um, the decorative elements are usually uh, personal wide and then the actual planning elements are personal. So let's just kind of do a quick flip through right now. So in here, um, I've actually been using this pen. This is just a Papermate Ink Joy Quattro. So it's got four different colors. The original ones had like, you know, the dark blue ink, black, um, red, and mm, I can't remember what else they had, but they had generic colors. This is pink, purple, light blue, and light green. Um, those are, the purple and pink are my favorite. I've also got a black Papermate Ink Joy gel pen and a gray, zebra mall liner in here okay so i've got some sticky notes and these are just memo sticky notes i can put right on the front divider if i had to this little authenticity card from cloth and paper some business cards and then an ollie clip um, just in case i need to attach information in here on the go i also have printed off some vellum stuff from sterling ink so this is the june calendar i just attached it to the front divider here this um this decorative element so this is actually from heather b co but on top of that i have this thing i cut down and i think this is the starfish um acetate from simply gilded so it was like forever ago it was like two years ago now and i just cut it down to fit in my compact but it fits personal wide so if we open it up um this is a little sheet like um i don't know what to call this it looks like it was cut down actually i'm just looking at the the rings but um it's like a protector so i put it this in front because then you won't be able to see this very well so this is just behind to protect the inserts um i have something at the back as well which i'll show you i guess i technically don't need this in here 
um, I could probably pull it out because this binder is already pretty full. And this binder is, these rings are only one inch. Okay, so here's May. So I've got the May index. This is what my calendar looked like. I did use the pink lemonade dots to decorate it, which I'll probably do the same thing for my June calendar. So um, this is just kind of what things looked like. Um, and this, this is going to be pretty simple. This is exactly what my setup for June is going to look like as well. I'll just kind of talk through everything. So I've got my master task list um, in here because I only have the calendar section at the front and that's it. Um, I'm keeping this personal and this business. So this is just like to kind of keep myself on top of things. I can cross it off in here as I go. Um, and I did do a video list on the index page. And then this was from previous so in my compact roars when i had my my month set up all i had were the blooms monthlies and that's all i had and so i basically did the same thing i would put when i had videos i would put when i had all of my home stuff and that's what my previous setup used to look like but this is what i kind of envision for the future the only thing i'd like to add on here are my youtube videos so that at least if I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, I've got doctor's appointments here, here, here. I've got videos to be posted here, here, and here. I can kind of schedule my way around that and say, okay, this is going to be a busy work day. So I better not make any appointments on this day. And that's kind of the goal. Okay. So heading into May, so I'll just do a quick flip through of what I did. This is a lot of back planning. So all I did was I wrote in every single thing that I had crossed off, um, up until I think it was the 22nd of May. So I'll just do a, a very quick flip of this. Um, I wrote down the schedule and all of the things that I did. And you'll see towards the end, like when I actually get into the actual planning, I struggle to fit all of my tasks on here. So when I was first thinking about looking into working in a compact completely, I was going to use the notes pages to help me finish my task list. <laughs> You can see there's some days I didn't do. This was actually a rough couple of days. I did hardly anything. Um, but I was like, okay, I've got this daily tracker down here. Why don't I do stuff like I'll put my son's percussions, 10 minute tidy, journaling, wellness stuff, and my Hobonichi down there. Because it's stuff I do every single day. Why am I reiterating it here on the, the task list? So that's what my plan is going forward just stuff I do every single day. So this was notes that I had in Red Deer. We were at a, a brewery. It was Red Heart Brewery in Red Deer. And this weird guy took a picture of me without my permission. I had my baby on my lap and he just like, he, he knew my son's grandpa. Like we were talking, we were all sitting together at this table. And I had had a few drinks and I was talking to my son's grandpa. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw him take a picture of me. And when I asked him, he didn't deny it. He said, yes, he did, but he handed me his phone so I could look and he had deleted the picture. So it went into recovery mode and then I couldn't see it because um, he had a Samsung and I don't really know Samsung that well. So I didn't look into his like recovery folder, but it irritates me and it kind of creeped me out because this guy was creepy. Like who takes a picture of you without your permission, right? In public, a complete stranger that you've only met once. So Anyway, I wrote down some notes, but I can barely read it because I think it had a bit too much to drink. <laughs> um, so I just wrote down that we went to Belly Hop that day. And then here's where I started actually planning. So I wrote down some notes for myself. Um, and then this is where I was actually planning. So this was Tuesday when we came home. I had a really busy, busy, busy work day. Tuesday because I was trying to play catch up. I did the same thing yesterday. Um, and then anything in pink here was what I was going to start talking about for my weekly update video. So, um, cause I'm kind of want to work it so that I film the video Saturday. Um, and it'll be pr pretty much the week prior. So like I would talk about the Monday that I filmed this video, like the first weekly update video, I would start talking from Monday and then until Saturday, which is the day I'd be filming. So just anything that happened in that week, I would talk to you guys about in that video. So any notes for that, I will be writing in pink on my notes pages and my compact. And this was Wednesday. Again, I didn't write everything here. There's still stuff I need to do. 
Um, and then this was today, and I haven't actually finished planning for today. Um, I did film that. I'm filming the compact video now. I haven't edited either of them, obviously. The monthly video I filmed yesterday, and I've edited it, but I have to post it today. And I have to do some Instagram stuff. But anyway, it's just been a busy day. I haven't paid my bills. I haven't done my daily planning yet. As you can see down here, I haven't touched anything. Um, and then this, again, like, because I'm doing a lot of my work still in my main planner, I will be using my seasons inserts for the month of June. Um, it's just basically kind of duplicating my work, I guess. But I'm making it easier for myself because I will not be decorating this. I will not be using stickers in this. It'll just be me writing out my notes. And the main reference pages, even if I don't get to write on the daily section, which I'm still hoping to do, obviously, because I'm going to use this as a main cute planning binder. So if I have to go outside, for instance, the same information from my my comp or my classic should be in here so then I can use this as an easy reference especially if I have to look at the monthly calendar or the task list or something so um, I'll probably write out some notes here of things I want to say in my video that I'm going to be filming on Saturday um, and then also so because I don't have weeklies in this binder this is the plan going forward I will plan out the month and then each day I would or I guess at the beginning of the week so um, what day do I usually plan? I plan on Thursday, but so in here I would sit down Sunday night and then just plan my week from like Monday to Sunday. Um, and then I would write down any appointments I have on the actual calendar. So if my son has school, I'm going to write school in there. If my kids have to have a baths, I'm going to write baths in there. Um, and then any notes throughout the week, I would just write here in a different color pen other than pink. Um, I've been using purple because it's my favorite color. But uh, that, that's the plan for this compact. So I think it's so cute. I love it. I don't love these inserts. Um, I have been looking, especially for compact, and the one that gives you the most room is the leadership planner. Uh, but I don't love that planner. I really do like the her point of view because I think it's so colorful and I love the colorful tabs. That's the one I have my eye on. But it actually, um, because on the, the weekly page, it's got like this big square picture here and it eats up a lot of the room I find for your daily planning. So I don't know if I want that one. I think I do. I think what I would have to do going forward because I am planning in my, my classic and I have all of my information in there, I would just simply put the main tasks I have to get done that day. So say it's a Wednesday, I have to do my sticker design. I'll put the designs I wanna tackle that day, um, you know, budget like just the main thing so not the planning not the hobonichi not the wellness not stuff i do every day that's supposed to be a habit right um or a tracking thing i would just um but on that note i was planning on designing stickers for my sticker shop that would be like a little habit tracker that you could customize so i would have a blank one and just put lines um and then one that I want to design for myself will actually have words. So it'll be personalized. So I'll have like percussions for my son. I'll have Hobonichi, daily journaling, and that where I can write, just like check them off. Like I'll have tiny little boxes and then check them off. So I, that is technically one of my designs I want to work on for Wednesday. I just haven't given myself time. And that's part of the reason why I've done this whole change from um, I, before I was doing a budget budget video i would film the video on the wednesday post it thursday so now that i'm no longer doing a budget video i've switched it up i'm still posting a video for wednesday but that video will be filmed on saturday for the weekly update thing so um, wednesday is free and clear now for me to actually get my work done this week was a write-off because i was already playing catch up so unfortunately it didn't get done this wednesday either so um yeah so as of june um this is still May in here, obviously. This is my little acetate from Sterling Ink. Thought it was really cute. And then once I'm done May, obviously all of May's will come out of here. Because I do have the entire month. And then when I get new inserts, I would keep all of the months in here. And then just keep one set, like one set of monthlies in it, or daily, sorry. One set of dailies in at one time. So as soon as I get July, I'll have July dailies and that's it. But I'll have the entire month, like all of the months in here. So 
I haven't ordered it yet because I just wanted to set up June 1st and see where things went. But this is what I'm looking at here. So what I will do is I'll leave the June index for actually like important information like throughout the dailies. I will plan on the calendar. I will write out all of my list stuff here and videos will go here. Um, I also kind of want to have a list for sticker ideas and blog information. But that main main information like that kind of stuff is already in my planner. I think it would be good if I had like a blog schedule in here. I think I will write that. I'll just write that on like a piece of note paper. So we're going to talk about the rest of this planner here. So I have all of June. I've got all of the dailies right till the end of June, which is the 30th. Okay. So the next tab I have in here, again, this is from Simply Gilded. This acetate is from Simply Gilded. Um, this is from Cloth and Paper. And then this is also from Cloth and Paper. This is my inbox. So this is technically um, the inbox where I would put sticky notes and stuff. Um, although I need to get some like smaller sticky notes for in here because all I have right now are these ones. So this is my inbox and I have only a few sheets. These are from cloth and paper. Um, I have like a whole set. I just took it out for, you know, room. And then once I get May out of here, I will have a little bit extra room so I could add more sheets. But each little area, you just um, write out whatever it is and then well, I don't know about up here, but yeah, we'll just write a little note here that I have to deal with and that's it. Okay, list is my next one. So these are both from Simply Gilded. Unfortunately, I ripped the corner of this vellum, which is sad, but it happened. But this is like my favorite combination ever. It's like um, rainbow foil on that. It's so beautiful. That's the the acetate which is my favorite so I've just kept it in here so these are all of my lists um, technically I've got a lot of karaoke stuff in here because I was taking my compact with me to karaoke I've got yeah all karaoke songs I just repurposed this this was inserts I want for my compact from cloth and paper but obviously that was like last year <laughs> more songs uh, more karaoke songs and then I just have some more paper. And then these were on sale. I bought these like a year or two ago. Um, these were just, of course, her point of view daily notes pages. Or not daily, sorry, just notes pages. The next tab is projects. Um, these, this, these two are from Cloth and Paper. So I have this textured dashboard here with this um, vellum. And then this over thing here, this is an acetate from Simply Gilded. So it looked good together, so I kept it all together. And what did I say this was? Projects. So I put a brain dump in here because this was switching over my planning system. So technically, you know, a project. So I left that in there. The next tab is finances. I have this from Cloth and Paper. And then all I have in here is cloth and paper inserts for purchase trackers. So because this will be my on-the-go planner, if I purchase anything that, say, I pay cash for, I can write it down in here. But that's it. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to put sinking funds in here. I'm not going to put any personal information. I do have my budget planner by the Budget Mom, so that stays at home. And then I actually also purchased the... Um, the smaller books, so they're from her website. The floral ones are undated. They were five dollars. I had to purchase them because you guys know I'll never, I'll never stop using the Budget Mom workbook that has worked for me for the last two years and has let me build up um, a sinking fund base. And I just, yeah. Anyways, I can't. I'll never stop using that. So I purchased that um, this year. The next tab is goals and ideas. So again, I've got cloth and paper stuff in here. I've got the texture dashboard with a vellum over top of that. I am the architect of days that haven't happened yet. I love that. And then I've got more cloth and paper inserts. These are the goals, the yearly goal section. And all I did is, I'm probably not using it the way it's meant to be used, but I broke it down into the months that were left of the year. And then I'm just putting in my, my, my goals. So all of this stuff here, I will cross off. And then I'm going to quickly fill out this here from my classic because I haven't touched that yet. 
and then just check off all of this stuff that's hopefully happened. Okay, and then I've got, um, it says reflection, but just pretty much note paper for any goal work I wanna put in there. And remember this is goals and ideas. So I have some um, Cornell note paper here from Cloth and Paper. And technically this could go under projects as well, but I just stuck it under here for now. I just, it's a matter of remembering where everything is in this planner because I'm not used to using my compact as much. So just a matter, matter of remembering it. Same thing now with my classic since I have um, currently changed it. So I just have to remember and get into a routine and find out where everything is. So the last tab in here is miscellaneous. I have these two. These are both from Simply Gilded. Um, it looks so beautiful together. These are like, this is a vellum, and then this is the acetate to go on top. And then I just have note paper in here. So that was um, a friend from karaoke. So these are the Her Point of View note pages. And then I also, and I got the, this idea from Marsha from Buy, Sell, Plan. These note pages are from um, S&M Plans on Etsy. Was it Etsy? I think I just went to her website. It was S&M Plans. She had this note paper that um, had designs on it, like floral note paper. And I was really interested in the grid floral note paper. So I printed a whole bunch um, and you just purchase it and then you can reprint it again whenever you want to. So I always print my inserts on HP 32 paper. So I've got a whole bunch of note paper in here and I'll probably just use this going forward because it's so nice. Okay, I also have these um, picture holders so you can put pictures in there, the two by three, or business cards, which I've done because this is an on-the-go planner. At least I have business cards I can hand out to people. So I keep those in there. And then I have the page turner at the back. So this is like um, a, a page protector or page turner or whatever. Um, at the back of any planner, it's always important to have something sturdy back there because your inserts will get caught and they'll bend right here. So I have this sturdy one. This came with one of my vintage Auroras. On this side, I put these tiny stickers here from Cloth and Paper. These are the tape, well, they're all different um, shapes in here, but they're the tiny ones that will fit on the monthly calendar. And then on this side, I do have sticky notes here, the little round ones, which is perfect. And then they're both from cloth and paper as well. So these are four inbox sticky notes. Actually, I think I took this off and I put this on the inbox sticky note, but it works great. I just have to remember that they're in here because they are at the very back. And then I've got the spotlight page flags. And then I have um, my notepad. I looked on the Franklin website and it's hard to find a notepad that will fit in this pocket because this is a planner love binder. It only fits the notepads like top down. So I had to find one like that. So the other things in here, I've got um, a progressive task list, which I'll probably use as a compass card. Eh, I might just use it as a, as a progressive task list, actually. I think I'll keep it as a progressive task list. And what I would do here is this would just be for like a week. So technically like a weekly progressive task list, if that makes sense. And then I would put like videos to film, um, you know, admin tasks, home tasks, stuff like that. So I think, and that's kind of what I was using it for as like before, because um, I didn't have weeklies in this binder. So I think that's what I would use that for. And then um, each day I can plan out my day. And as far as filming this binder, I think in my work binder, let me just pull it up. In my work schedule, I had set it out that I would, um, where did I put them? Compact daily. So I, for some reason, I just put them in random spots. But I think going forward, what I would like to do is actually film these videos Sunday night and post them either Sunday, and it would just be a quick video, right? Like a 10 minute video, um, film it Sunday and then post it Sunday. So yes, doing work on weekends, but allowing myself that time to plan for the week, which would simply be looking at the calendar on the, like the month, because right, right now we'll just do the monthly planning. Um, and then Sunday, what I would do is film the video. So I would fill out one of these or maybe review the week before, cross off stuff, fill out a new one, transfer tasks over to it if I didn't finish them from last week, and then schedule out my days for that week. And that would be the extent of my planning for that. So I think we would probably do that on Sunday. So I'm going to have to go back into my main binder and rearrange that schedule. I think that's a good idea. So 
Um, the only other things I kept in here were my hu husband's and my karaoke cards. These are all the songs that we like to sing. I keep them in there because this is the planner that comes with, like will be coming with me um, to karaoke. And then I keep this in here, but I won't be doing that today. And then also this notepad. So I just remember that those things are behind there. And yeah, I will have to place an order for those inserts. So the thing with Franklin, I do live in Alberta, Canada. When I order from the Franklin website, you guys, they come, like I swear, if I order now, today is uh, Thursday, it will be here next week, which is crazy. Um, they've, they've got the best customer service, number one. They have got the, like, I, I, I don't even know, like they've just got the best the best everything like the best planners have come from there so in my opinion I mean everyone has a different planner that is completely fine okay so this is what I have done so on this previous list here I um, was kind of doing the same thing so I'm just going to add this until I get to Sunday and then I'll I'll do that and I will I'm going to read that in my planner right now because I'm going to forget um, change schedule to reflect compact videos on Sunday. I'll write it in purple so I can remember it and see it. Change. So work. Sunday weekly compact videos. So I'll be changing that on my work setup. So I will be putting my video schedule in my compact as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll use these, okay? And then I'm also going to use the dot stickers in my pink lemonade because I did use this for my, um, my classic setup for the month. So I'm gonna pull out, like really the only thing I'm gonna need here is the June calendar and the master task list on the back um so this would be personal that's business so now what i'm planning on doing oh, okay i wonder what i should do here um instead of writing this as business and videos i i remember doing that because i'm like oh i'm going to prepare myself for my video i'm going to write videos here and this will be blog ideas I think that's a good idea. Or should I do schedule? Hmm. Well, I can't do schedule because this would be taken out once June is done. So I don't know what to do here. I think I would just have ideas. So I'm going to take that off of there. So this is going to be do I want to write this in black or do I want to write it in color? I guess I'll write this in black. Um, so yeah, if I want to write my schedule out for my blog or for my blog stuff, I'll have to write on a separate piece of paper. So for the master task list here, this is going to be videos for the month and blog ideas. So even if I write blog ideas on here, I don't think that's a good idea because um, unless I just write scheduled blogs and that would just be for the month. Okay, so I'll just leave it like that and then I'll have to pull out um, some note paper and I'm not sure if I'll have time to do that in this video. I'll probably do that in my spare time but that's what I would do is simply use some paper so I did cut these down to well, my baby's up okay so I have to go because my baby just woke up but I will plan this out when I return um, I'm gonna set out my schedule according to my work week and my personal week and then we'll um, we'll talk about it
All right, guys. So I think that's it for the monthly setup here. Um, I was thinking of writing out the list of videos, but it's just going to take too long. So I will do that on my own time. And then we can always like look back when I'm doing a review of the month or something. So I'm going to put my scheduled blogs, new releases. I don't, I rarely ever schedule new releases for my sticker shop. And maybe that's the problem because I don't give myself a set deadline. So I never, ever work on my stickers. I used to be so good at keeping up with that, but now it's just the extra, like, you know, work that I have to do with my new sign and stuff. So also this page I might leave for like brainstorming maybe because I really do want to keep this index here on the monthly page for all of the daily information, if that makes sense. I don't really like putting it here because I'm going to keep this calendar with it anyway. And then plus I, I do have an additional index here if I needed it for anything. So, all right. So looking at the calendar, it looks busy and I had to give myself symbols. I do not put what they mean, but maybe I should. So obviously YouTube videos. Um, and now here, the only ones that I actually put like a written note beside it were the ones that weren't a normal, regularly scheduled video. So for instance, um, my compact setup in June will be on the 29th. That will be for July. My July goal video will be on the 30th. My classic setup for July will be on the 1st of July. And then the week one will be on the 2nd. And actually that weekend, we're also going to Red Deer as well. I forgot about that because the first is the holiday so i'm not sure if it will be off on the friday or if he'll be off on the monday i'll have to ask okay so i'm just going to put red deer here because we're not sure i'm going to put like a little car sticker there to just mark that date i'm not sure whether chad will get the friday off or the monday off and he's not sure either so um for now I'll just mark it with the road trip car sticker. We should just go like that and then write Red Deer. So like really the only time we can ever go to Red Deer is when there's a long weekend because then my husband has it off. It would work better if it had Friday because we'd be able to leave Friday morning and then be able to have all of Friday, all of Sunday, Saturday, and then come home Sunday. So I'm hoping for Friday. But anyway, so this looks super, super busy. Um, with the little circle stickers, I put our groceries day would be a Sunday, sometimes Monday. Swimming, um, paid on Thursday, budget on Wednesday. And then all of the important dates that are not regularly scheduled. Again, I put them in pink to kind of differentiate the day. Father's Day on the 18th, our appointment on the 7th, and then last day of school on the 27th. There's no school um, on the 21st, and it's the first day of summer. And when I make my son's six month appointment, I will put that on here as well. Um, I'll just say Logan schedule six month. So that's something that has to be on my task list for the month. Um, date night is marked off with a flower sticker. I've put um, recycle and garbage days. Movie night, um, every night that's opposite date night. Um, and then first day of summer is marked by a ladybug. Red Deer on that first weekend there. And then all of these symbols. So B stands for blog, which means I need to transfer it and post it. Um, J stands for journal. W stands for write, meaning write blog. So that's the day I write. And then S stands for stickers that I have to design. Okay, so I pretty much had to use symbols in here because otherwise it's just too hard to like fit it all in on these tiny little pages. I wrote my list of everything that I need here, and then I'll probably just copy over that video list from my video list in my business, my classic here. So anyway, that is it for this monthly setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, going forward, instead of doing like a daily video, I might try to fit in a daily video every now and then. But for the most part, if I start doing weekly videos on Sunday, if it gets to be too much, maybe I won't do that and I'll just do daily videos. But I think what I would like to do Sunday is schedule my week. So I would basically take one of these compass cards, aka a progressive task card, put it in on the, the day and then any of the important tasks that week, I have them in front of me all the time. 
and then I can say, okay, today I've got time. I can fit in, you know, doing this, this task and I can put it in on that day. So I think that'll work perfect for me. This will be my weekly ongoing list. These are my dailies. Um, and then I'll try to do that, try to schedule that stuff on the Sunday and then quickly just, you know, quickly do it, post the video Sunday night. And there you guys will have like a mini compact video. So, um, it'll be new for me because I haven't scheduled, I haven't planned that way. Um, but I know Marsha did that. And I also know, um, Samantha, um, I'm just going to pull up her channel here and show you guys. Um, Samantha Gibson. Not that Samantha Gibson. Um, where is this? Right here. Um, Samantha Gibson, Choose Your Planning. So she plans that way as well. Or she used to anyway when she had a Franklin. So yeah, so just um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new, please subscribe. Click on the bell button and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye friends.